Tor Johnson here, folks, and I am calling the action heavyweight title on the line. Kevin Concrete Asplund in the white tap out shorts, taking on the massive Heath Rock. 265 pounds of Heath Rock trying to bully Kevin Asplund around. Asplund said his strategy is to push the action, is to try to push the man, the big man, back on his heels. Right now, Roth has him pushed up against the fence, using that size and weight. See if Asplund can turn his way out, swing, come swinging off the break. Heath Roth, known as a great striker, but Asplund is pushing the pace. Asplund trying to keep his back up against the cage, keep Roth back up against the cage. Comes pushing forward, eats a nice jab, but shakes it off. Asplund has an incredibly hard head, trains with Brett Rogers. Rogers puts a lot of a lot of leather on Asplund's head, and Asplund has learned to just soak it up and keep coming. Roth comes with a big one, two, and misses. Asplund again, backing Roth up. Every time he pushes Roth forward, he's getting Heath to back up, to put his head back. That could set him up. Asplund does have a dangerous right hand. He got to this champion this round of the championship tournament with a big, vicious overhand right that took Cameron Buford right off his feet. And the crowd is absolutely going crazy. Asplund, his fan base is huge, and they are all here. And he just drops Heath Roth. He just dropped him. A left hand, a left hook, and a right comes. And Roth is down, and he is in trouble. And Guthmiller is going to have to stop this fight. The fans are going out of their mind. They're rushing the camera. They're rushing the cage. And Guthmiller, looks like we've lost our camera feed. Guthmiller has stopped the fight. He has stopped the fight. It is over. Kevin Asplund has won. Jack, Jack, let's go to the replays. We lost our feed there for a second. Let's look at the replay here. Asplund early on in the fight, pushing the pace. Driving Roth backwards, putting Roth on his heels. You see Kevin eats a jab, doesn't even slow him down. He says, go ahead, bring me another one. He keeps pushing forward, and now look at this. His left hand lands, rocks Roth. Right hand comes, sends Roth to the ground. Aspen stays right on top of him. Roth is doing nothing but covering up. He's in a fetal position, and Daryl Guffmiller has no choice but to stop the fight. And we have a new heavyweight champion in, in Kevin Concrete Aspen. Take another look at this big punch. Rob puts his head back and kind of puts it up on a pole. Eats that big left and then the right hand. Just finishes him off. We, we've got our cameraman back up on his perch, but uh, we think we got some equipment damage there. As the fans just went crazy, there's Coach Mike Riley picking Kevin up. So proud of this man. Hard-working, blue-collar guy. Works a full-time job every single day. Puts food on the table for his family, for his three boys. And it comes out here and wins the heart of the people. This entire crowd are Kevin Asplund believers. Absolute hometown hero. He comes and gets the gold, the brutal world title. Former champions, number four ranked in the world, Brett Rogers, ultimate fighter uh, contestant, Zach Jensen, and now Kevin Asplund wins it and wins it in fine style. And Asplund brings his boys into the cage, his son, who's a 16 year old son who's actually bigger than he is. His other boy, his wife Goldie, and here comes Jeff. You saw him pick Jeff up earlier. Jeff was still by him from the beginning. In the end, Concrete, Kevin Aspen gets the win, gets the gold, and gets the girl.